Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be going through all my favorite nude lip shades, lipsticks, lip liners, lip pencils, and liquid lipsticks for olive skin. And stay tuned at the very end for my tip to keeping your lips moisturized if you have severely chapped lips. So if this is something that you're interested in, please keep watching. So I'm going to be going through both high-end drugstore products in no really particular order. I'll try and stick with the same brands at one time. Um, and I'm not going to do a swatch, I'm just going to show you directly on my lips so you can get a better view. So the first lip shade I have is from MAC and it is the shade Cherish in their Satin Lipstick Collection. So this I probably wear more than any other lip shade. Um, it stays on really well, it doesn't make my lips chapped, it's super moisturizing. And it's just a really great shade for my particular skin tone. It's definitely more on the warm side, which I love. All right, the next shade that I have is also from Max Lipstick Collection and it is the color Whirl in shade number A47 and this is from their matte collection. Now this is a little bit darker, it's more of a brown, but it's got like a warm tint to it. And I will wear this more in the fall and winter. It's just got a really nice shade to it. It stays all day because it is matte, it's not very drying. So I absolutely love the shade. Next lipstick that I have is the Eva's Nude in number 610 from the L'Oreal Collective Privé collection. This is what it looks like. It's a little bit lighter than the last MAC shade that I showed you. It's still a little bit on the darker side. This one does have a shine to it and it's not transfer resistant. So this one you will have to apply throughout the day. But I just love the shade, it really matches everything. Beautiful color, matches my skin really well. And a while back they had released, um, the Royal Collection had released several different nude shades for different uh, celebrities, and this one was my favorite. All right, so now I'm gonna go through all my favorite lip pencils. So this one is by Jordana. It is the Rock and Rose color. It's a retractable pencil. I have used this for a very long time. You can get it at Walgreens. It's super, super inexpensive. I think it's like $4.99 and it's just the perfect nude shade. It's matte. I like to layer this so I will put this on by itself. I will also just put it around my lips and then fill it in and then put like a gloss over it, which I'll show you next. This one is kind of like my OG. It's my absolute absolute favorite. Alright, so like I had mentioned, I like to layer that Jordana lipstick, or I like to layer that Jordana lip pencil with lighter shades so it kind of gives you that ombre look. So I took the Revlon Matte Nude in 001. I bought this years ago and it was way too light for me. So I just put it in the center of my lips. This is not the best shade for me. Um, I actually read a little trick to find your perfect nude shade. It's actually the shade of your nipple. If you're ever, want, ever wanting to swatch your favorite nude shade, little tidbit. So I'll put that in the center of my lips and then Usually whenever I do some sort of ombre color, I will just top it off with this Aveda Nourishment Lip Place. And I'll just put a little bit in the center and then just kind of spread it together. Then it gives you this nice nude shade that's a little dimensional and it'll last all day. 
All right, so my next lip combination is Max Spice Lip Pencil. And when I first tried it, I wasn't sure about it because it's a very, very warm color. It almost had a little tint of a red, but I found a good color that matches well with it. So I used the Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Shaping Liner in the shade Nude Whisper, number 105. So I would put this just around the outline of my lips, and then I will take the Maybelline, and then I will actually put it in the center and then over top the MAC shade so it's not so, so deep of a red. And then it just gives you this very nice light nude shade. So I like this a lot for if I'm just running errands. All right, so I saved my favorite for last, which are my liquid lipsticks. This I wear most of the time, and as you guys probably noticed from all my videos, I always wear nudes. I really ever stray away from it. I just think it looks best with my skin tone, and I don't like anything too bright or too pink or too crazy. So this one is probably my second favorite. This is the Amour Matte Lip Cream from Milani in the shade Adorable, number 10. Like I said, I've been using this one for years, and my best friend actually used this on her wedding day. My sister was the makeup artist for her and used this, and it was absolutely gorgeous. So this one is a little bit more of a pinky tone. It is very drying, so I will put a little bit of um, this clear gloss that I had showed you before, just in the center, just so it's not so dry. A little bit thicker, so you have to kind of spread it out a little bit before you apply it, but it is gorgeous stays for a while and I absolutely love it. All right, you guys, and my absolute, absolute favorite, favorite, favorite liquid lipstick is NYX's NYX Lingerie Collection in the shade Push Up. I absolutely fell in love with this when I first tried it and I buy it constantly. It's my absolute favorite. It's a little bit drying, but I just feel like this shade is perfect for my personal skin tone. And NYX's lingerie collection for all of their liquid lipsticks are amazing. Once you find your shade, you're going to fall in love with it. They're just perfect. I love the applicator because it's a little bit thinner. It's not super thick like a lot of liquid lipstick applicators that you find. So it's very easy to apply. And now I'm gonna go into two of my favorite glosses. So this is from Kylie's collection. This is her shade, literally. And again, I think this is just the perfect shade for me. You can wear this by itself, but it's a little sheer, so I usually put this on top of um, this NYX liquid lipstick once it dries. It's just the perfect shade. So I'll just put it in the center. Rub that together as much as you want. It does have a little bit of a strong smell, but it's worth it because it's so pretty. And I just love, 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 love the shade. Alright, so my next lip gloss is the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the shade Peanut Brittle. And I absolutely, absolutely love this color. Again, I think it's kind of similar to Kylie's lip shade. This one's just a little bit warmer, but it's so pretty. It's a little bit thicker and it definitely sticks together, so I don't wear it all the time. But this one you can put on by itself. I don't have any lip liner or any other lipstick or liquid lipstick underneath. This is just it by itself. And it's got great coverage. It's absolutely beautiful. And just like the other NYX liquid lipsticks, it's got the same kind of wand. So it's a little bit thinner, very, very easy and smooth to apply. All right, the last liquid lipstick I have from the NYX collection is the NYX Lingerie in the shade Cashmere Silk. I love this one. Also, it's I think it's about a shade darker than the Push Up from NYX that I showed you guys earlier. This one is gorgeous, and I've noticed this one kind of 
matches to whatever color you're wearing so I put this on with like a black leather jacket and it seemed like it looked darker so that's kind of interesting but I absolutely 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 love this color All right, so the last nude lip shade that I'm going to show you guys today is from Kat Von D's collection in the shade Bow and Arrow. This was actually the very first liquid lipstick I ever tried, and I fell in love with it. I've been using this one for years. It is a little bit more on the cooler tone side. I don't know if you can really tell here. Um, so I usually wear this more in the fall and winter and not as much in the summer. But this is probably the best formula out of all of the liquid lipsticks that I own. It's very hard to get off. It stays really well. It does not transfer and it's just amazing. If you're a fan of the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks, you know that they all have a very distinct smell, which goes away after it dries. But I just love the packaging. The applicator is really nice because it kind of shapes to your lips. It's a little bit on the smaller side and it just spreads really easily. So I absolutely love this one. All right, you guys, well, that's it for all of the nude shade lipsticks that I use. As you can tell, I have a lot, and that's not even all of them. Those are just my favorites. <laughs> but I did promise you at the end of the video I'd show you what I use for my severely, severely chapped lips. I tried several different things, and this is honestly the only thing that works for me. So the brand is called Laneige, and it's their lip sleeping mask. Got really cute packaging, and it's got this little wand that comes with it to apply it. You don't have to do it, but it's super easy to use because once it gets low, you'll kind of have to scoop it out, so it's better to use this anyway. Um, but I've had this for several months, and I still, as you can see, I have so much left. So I will actually put it on before I go to bed and then sleep in it overnight, and then the next day my lips are soft the entire day. I was really struggling with severely chapped lips and then with wearing a lot of liquid lipsticks that really dries up out your lips and like sucks out all the moisture so I would highly recommend this um, if you follow their Instagram page they list all the different kinds they have they have different shades different smells um, I think they have some for daytime this one recommends you to use it at night but you can use it throughout the day as well it just might come off when you're drinking or eating or whatever just my little secret to softer lips because it has really, really helped me. All right, you guys, well, that's it for today's video. I hope you really enjoyed this. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section down below, and I will list all the products down below. I'm not gonna link them because I'm not sure where I got every single one of them over the years. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy this. Um, give it a thumbs up if you did. Like, share, subscribe this video, and I will see you guys in my next video.